Howdy everybody, this is Bamboo again, sharing with you another fascinating encounter one man had with a apparent dogman-like creature, and this one happened in the woods of Wisconsin, and I will read what the man wrote in the report and what he saw. Hi, my name is Richard L., and I live in a little town by the name of Almond, located in Wisconsin. I don't have any degrees or PhD. I'm just a retired, simple man that likes going out in the woods and do some plant studies on my own. I know a little about botany, and I enjoy its study. That's all. I like to consider myself a man of science, though, and I tend to look for explanations for every little thing. But what happened to me a few days ago, on one of my short trips, that I can't explain. My family doesn't believe me. Please excuse me, my writing and grammar, as I'm not the best at it. That day, I went out earlier than usual in the morning. It was 5 a.m. when I grabbed my backpack, consisting of one sandwich, botanical books, a notebook, and a pencil. I like carrying my shotgun as well, even though it gets pretty uncomfortable after a while, but I do bring it with me every time I go out to the woods. My day was pretty productive, and I drew a few plants on my notebook, but it was after 8 a.m. that I realized I forgot to bring water with me. That was a huge mistake. I know of a little source of water a spring nearby that carries clean, drinkable water. I decided to go there. Once I reached the spring, I was relieved to see the clean water flowing through it. I left my backpack on the ground and bent over to drink some of it off my hands. I was very thirsty and drank as much as I could. As I stepped back from the water and reached for my backpack, I heard a strange sound that reminded me of a howl, only it sounded like a creature in pain, and not like a wolf trying to communicate. I didn't pay much attention to it, since you can hear about anything here in the woods if you concentrate hard enough, so I decided to head back home. On my way back, I began to think, what if that howl? was actually a person asking for help. What if I ignored the cries of a human being crying to be heard? That's what made me go back to the spring. I started blaming myself for not having thought about this earlier and thinking about how that person could be dead by now. It could be a hunter or an old person. When I got to the spring, I stayed still nearby trying to hear the sound again. I screamed out asking to see if anybody was there. I went around the spring in circles, looking for this person, hoping to find someone laying on the floor. I was kind of relieved, maybe, after all. It was just an animal howling or some tree branch making a funny crackling noise. I called again, just in case. Nothing, not a sound only the water flowing down the rocks. I became hungry, so I sat down next to the water to eat the sandwich. Again, kind of relieved that it had all been a false alarm. But it hadn't been a false alarm. I dropped half of my sandwich in the water. The howl happened again, only this time it was more of a human cry. No doubt it was a male human crying out loud. An adult. A very loud cry. It made the hairs on the back of my neck stand off end. I started running towards the sound. Hold on, I am coming. You okay? All I could see was the branches of bushes and the trees hitting me on the sides of the face and scratching my arms. Then I saw it. It was there sitting down in the middle of an opening, 
a human figure. He then started moving fast, movement that I've never seen in a human, almost like spasms, only faster, shakier. I realized it wasn't a he, but an it. It stood on its hind legs, and I could see the outside of the body was hairless, like a human, whereas the inside was hairy, like an animal. It was silver hair, white, its chest full of it, no sexual organs anywhere. The head started to take shape. It had two distinctive wolf-like ears and a long snout, long canines showing on the sides, up and down, like a hog. The eyes were brown or black, very dark. It then growled, and I have to admit I was freaked out by then. I reached for my shotgun, not to shoot it, but to scare it away with a shot in the air, when I realized I had left it back at the spring. I was defenseless and standing next to a creature I'd never seen before. I thought if I started running, it would chase me down. So I stood still, quiet, trying not to stare into its eyes so it wouldn't find me challenging as dogs often do. That's when it approached me, close enough to smell it. It put up its snout up on my head and sniffed my eyes and nose. Its eyes connected with mine, and I wasn't able to gaze away this time. I could feel its pain. That creature was in pain, but also you could feel its anger. I couldn't stand it anymore, and I started screaming. It then left running on four legs. I urinated my pants. Literally, I did. I was surprised. It had no tail, and the rear end looked like a human butt, to be honest. I stood there for a few minutes, making sure it had left for good. Then I went back to my backpack and shotgun and headed home. It was the weirdest day of my life. A very fascinating encounter. Um, thanks everybody for listening in. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Thank you and bless up.